Happy Wisdom Wednesday! So group number one is an Amazonite stone, number two, pink opal, and number three, optical calcite. So whichever one you felt was the one for you, that's the one you should go with. Don't overthink it. Your immediate and first instinct is the stack that is meant for you um, for this week, okay? So we will start with the Amazonite. Now, if you chose this stack, um, this crystal's use is to help you have more diplomatic communication. It helps you to um, express yourself, to be more intuitive. It gets rid of worry, fear, and anger. It eliminates uh, mood swings, helps you have a happier marriage. It helps you to set boundaries and have healthy relationships um, and many other things. So maybe those are some of the issues that you've been struggling with. Now, within this stack, the first thing is doubt. I release the need to know all of the answers. Um, so <laughs> you might want to put one of these on your body, um, maybe on the throat chakra. What they're saying is that the next card here is unbound. It says releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Now, how do you do that? You could actually place one of these on your throat chakra, or you don't even need to do that. You can just ask your spirit guides and angels to help you with that. Now, the spiritual type of uh, modality that will serve you best this week is law of attraction. Thinking about what it is that you want as opposed to focusing on the things that we don't want. Now, why is that particularly important? Because this is how we release soul patterns, contracts, and whatever. Um, because when we're focusing on what's going wrong, what we think about, we bring about, right? And so we're staying stuck. And so this stone along with law of attraction and thinking of what is it that I desire for my future is what's going to help you. Now the pink opal stack, for those of you who picked pink opal, um, general uses for pink opal are harmony and balance, especially for your heart. It helps with emotional healing such as like breakups, deaths, things like that. Um, it helps bring resolution to painful memories and it kind of fills your aura with this peaceful energy. It attracts luck and hope. Um, and actually, if you're looking for a new partner, this will help you bring someone faithful. Someone, um, you know, even if somebody has been unfaithful to you, it's like you're protected against, um, you know, really feeling attracted to them. It's like the affirmation where you might say, um, you know, I am only attracted to those who are for my highest good. So um, all of a sudden you might notice people in your life that maybe you had a crush on, they're not for you anymore. Um, it helps with compassion, it helps to break up old patterns, and it creates like new beginnings. Um, feelings of joy, calm, um, feeling centered, a lot of self-love and self-acceptance there. And so this kind of goes really well with the Mercury retrograde energy that we're coming into now, uh, starting Halloween. So. Um, fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Now, this color is correlated to your um, solar plexus chakra, which is all about your confidence. And this makes sense then with the pink opal when it's saying, hey, we're going to talk about self-acceptance and self-love here, okay? So um, trying to stay in the loving energies. Now, it says don't dim yourself to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Um, so kind of again here with that pink opal, it's saying, hey, I love who I am. Who I am is important, even if it's weird. And I want you to think about, um, this was a post that I made on Instagram and Facebook, where it's like, remember that Weird Al is just Basic Al, and nobody wants to see a music video from Basic Al, right? Like, nobody finds joy in that. Um, he's not special if he's basic. So, remembering your weirdness. Now, your uh, modality for this week that's going to help you the most in your spiritual path is crystals. So with something like a pink opal, you can just put it in your pocket. Um, for those of you who are female, it's good to put it in your bra because then it's closer to the heart chakra. Um, but you can actually put it on any chakra. It will help to heal. Now with this last one, the optical calcite, it gives you an energy boost to your spiritual, your emotional, your mental, and your physical bodies. So it gets rid of layers that you need to remove in order to have like deeper emotional understanding of what you're going through. It balances out your emotions and then also your masculine and feminine energies. So it helps reduce stress. It helps get rid of fear. It makes you feel more confidence, 
more consistent, more stable. It gets rid of laziness. It stimulates your ability and desire to excel. It's kind of like a go-getter type of stone. Um, it helps improve your judgment. It reinforces your memory. So this one might be really good if you needed to study for something. Um, it helps align your chakras, deep soul healing, revitalization, aura balancing, um, improved inner and outer vision, purifies and disinfects. It's pretty multi-purpose, but it's really good for those of you who need focus um, and help with your drive, okay? Now, again, we're using this one in correlation to our uh, self-confidence in that solar plexus. And so it's saying, I'm the same as everybody else, just with different challenges. So envy isn't something that you should have or you should try to work through. Um, everybody, even if it looks like they're doing awesome, has their own struggles and you might just not see them, okay? So devotion, tuning into the portal of your heart, like really thinking about what is it that drives me? What's imp most important to me? And how do I get there? So for you, palmistry would be the most um, effective way to really use your own gifts or to find greater insight this week on a spiritual level. And I'm wondering why. So I'm actually going to pull another card for this group here. And they're saying because there are things there um, that could be found within palmistry that you have not yet heard about or thought about um, that bring some things to light for you. So I love you so much and I'll see you next week.